All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex Recruit or whatever the McFucks you want to call me and today We're gonna be breaking down my new trunk My new song boombox Bitch, I got my boombox If you haven't already heard it go to the link right now in the description Listen to the song before I explain the song Did you do it. Did you fucking go? Did you fucking go? Did you fucking do it? Seriously though, please go check out the song before you watch this video. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down some of my favorite things that I did in the song. And as a thank you to you for helping me reach 20,000 fucking subs, I'm gonna be giving out this FLP for completely free to everybody, not just Patreons. Let's just jump into this bitch, uh, but please don't steal my song. Uh, this is yours 100%. You can do whatever you want with it. Actually, I don't really give a fuck. I really shouldn't give a fuck. Do whatever you want. I don't... I don't care. I'm giving it out anyway. I can't... I can't tell you what to do with it at all. But, um... Don't just change one thing and just put your name on it type deal, you know? Anyway, let's jump into this bitch. And let's talk about what I did. Okay, so when I started this song, I didn't have anything in mind, really. Actually, I sat down and I knew I wanted to design a cool sound and I knew that I wanted to resample something I didn't want to uh, use a synthesizer so I found this sample over here so it's a super cool you know bass sound and what I did was I put it on the playlist and I started messing around with it I put some effects on it and this is what I got I'll run through the effects, even though they're not that important, I'll run through them really quick. You have this fruity balance that's doing the little chopping, like, gating thing. You have a OTT, my famous saturation rack, which is available for free in a Discord. Then we got tube warmth, camel crusher, a sound goodizer, some EQ. Now there's really nothing special about this sound, other than it sounds fucked up. Actually, prior to all that processing, I took this sample, pitched it up, stretched it, reversed it. So it is just a completely fucked up sound. See, to me, it's kind of like a fun little challenge to fuck things up as much as possible and then fix them somehow. So that's kind of what I did. Let me show you how it sounds in the playlist because it's a little stretched and higher pitch. All right. But as you can hear, the very first noise was kind of cool. I thought it was cool, and it's this noise. I thought that sounded really, really cool. So I decided to chop that up, and that's what you have right here. So that is our sound. That was the foundation of everything. From there, I decided to do, I think I did a little bit of pitch automation, but I didn't like what I did. So there's just this little dip in the end of the sample that you could barely even tell that it's there. After that, I put a bunch of effects on it and I'll run through them really quick, but none of them are really as important as one, which is this serum effect right here. And it's kind of in the middle of the entire chain and it's controlling this little automation. And the Serum FX has a filter on it, a combs filter, as well as some other effects. This combs filter here is what's making the, uh... See how it's moving? If I didn't have that on... It's a lot more static. And... Even that by itself sounds cool. I, I might have fucked up the sound, because this actually sounds... Really nice. I would have probably done some different processing on it doesn't matter anyway the song's out let's keep it going let's keep it moving um honestly all of this these effects and as you can see there's a lot there um it's all trial and error and experimenting and just let's say like i wanted a crispier sound i know that maybe some distortion and saturation will help me achieve that things like that i do on purpose but as far as like anything else it's a lot of like let me try see what happens and I go from there. That's probably the best way to go around making some interesting sounds. It's let me try and see what happens. So we have the saturation rack and it's actually skipping through some stuff that the original one has. So we're not even using this reverb here, but it's basically just a bunch of saturation. This tube amp, I think it's free from stock FL Studio effects and the Valhalla room isn't even working. Still not working. I need to fucking fix that because I love that plugin. But anyway, after that, 
You can see how the sound really got beefed up, beefed up by that saturation. Then I put an EQ, took out all the low end. Then you have even more saturation. This is lightly driven saturator preset. And you have some reverb, which is actually being automated, so it's not on all the time. There's various reverb tails at each beat. Some are bigger than others, and uh, I don't know. I liked it. Then we have some more EQ, and you have Fletcher Munson curve, which cuts down very harsh frequencies. Now the original preset has these frequencies here, these two a lot lower, but I didn't like them that low. So I brought them up a little bit. So I cleaned up my sound a little bit more and there's another low pass filter probably for some other shit. Actually, no, the low pass filters for this crap right here. The very first impact of the sound, it was kind of bothering me, so I just put a little bit of a low pass filter at the beginning. And that's pretty much it for that sound. I thought that was super fun. Okay, so another thing I want to break down is the vocals. So the vocals is actually me, and in case you didn't know, all the lyrics in my songs or most of the words and, and vocals in my music is me singing. I like to uh, use my voice as an instrument and switch it up a little bit. The least it sounds like me, the happier I am with it because I don't really fuck with my voice like that. Anyway, so I made this uh, rap fucking, you know, vocal. Actually, the way I came up with the vocals is because I was working on the drop and it's pretty. it was pretty much exactly how you hear it now. And uh, I was like, damn, this part right here sounds like a vinyl scratch. This fucking, the synth part. This one right here. It reminded me of a vinyl scratch and I was like, fuck, that's like super 80s, you know, like cool as fuck. And I, and I love like fucking boom bat beats and shit like that. So I was like, okay, let me just make the other parts besides the drop like a 90s themed like hip hop song. So first I recorded some shit, you know, randomly started spitting some bars until I found a catchy melody. And then I built upon that, wrote the lyrics, and I wrote this take. Got my boom box bumping out the rooftop. Got the bad bitch bumping on my new bop. Got a big joint smoking like a smoke cops. I don't give a fuck cause bitch I got my fucking boom box box. Okay, so let me show you the original take. Got my boom box bumping out the rooftop. So that sounds like me, right? So I didn't like that. So I turned it down 200. Got my boom box bumping out the it's a lot deeper. And then I recorded myself again. But in this one, I didn't pitch myself down. But what I did is when I recorded, I tried to wrap it in the same tone as the take that was pitched down. So as you can hear, Got my boom box bumping out the rooftop. I'm trying to make my voice deeper. So I think that's what really made that whole uh, thing like really blend well together and not necessarily sound like it was pitched down, but it sounds a lot more natural in my opinion. Got my boom box bumping out the rooftop. And you get this cool double voice effect that Got my boom box bumping out the rooftop. Kind of sound like Got Tupac a little bit. Bumping out my new bop. Got a big joint smoking like a smoke cops. I don't give a fuck cause bitch I got my fucking boom box. Then we go into the build up. And honestly, uh, build ups are extremely important. And I'm gonna, this is the last thing I'm gonna touch on this video. With a massive build up, you can get even more experimental with your drops. Because when I hear a really cool build up and I'm excited as fuck, and then a drop hits me and it's so unexpected, but it still feels good, I think it's because the build up was done properly. But anyway, I don't know. There's really not much to it other than take your time, don't rush it. This build up really, you have all these hi hats and, and, and cymbals, and then you have these snares that I wrote at different velocities, going up in pitch. You can see the velocity here. And then you have like more instruments building up, like you have more snares. You have these like washed out snares for like a impact type of effect. And then you have the build up um, vocals, the volume for the vocals fade. And then you have more impacts and fucking sweeps and shit. So it's a lot of crap. Like you don't want to overdo it. Obviously you just don't want to add a bunch of shit for no reason, but you definitely want to take your time with it. At least that's what I'm telling you guys, because I mean, honestly, a lot of the shit that I show you guys and I talk about on the videos is things that I need to work on and that I need help on. So I go and learn and learn and learn. And then I try to show you guys what I've learned. So yeah, buildups are extremely important and take your time with them. Actually, some of you guys have asked me, how can I make better buildups and intros? And it's just take your time with it and enjoy what you're doing. Don't be so worried on finishing and like, ah, oh, I gotta finish this song. This song. It's more like, I, I gotta have some fun. Like tell yourself, I gotta have some fun because that should be your main goal rather than anything else. And that's it.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the 20,000 subs. I want to give a huge thank you to everybody who's honestly been sticking around in this channel for so long. I've had this channel since 2013. I posted various videos here and I know a lot of people are still here from back, back, back in the day when I was making completely different things and I appreciate you for still being here. I love you guys. Thank you for your support with Threat and the sample packs. We have a lot more cool stuff coming to Threat very, very soon. But to finish this off, thank you so much for my Patreons. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any way, the best and biggest thing that you can do is share my music. I really, really appreciate every single person who shares my stuff on Instagram and tags me, you know, shares my stuff on Twitter. Honestly, guys, that is the biggest, most awesome thing that you can do is just share my music with your friends and anyone that you meet. Just keep me in mind. And that is all. Thank you so much once again for the 20,000 subs. Let's keep it going. Let's keep making awesome music. And I'll see you guys on the next show.